Alright, so today we're going to discuss Google Pay versus Samsung Pay. First and foremost, for those of you that don't know, Google Pay and Samsung Pay are options for payment without your wallet with your credit card through your phone. Um, this is a OnePlus 7T. It's my daily. It's I love this phone. Uh, just about everything except for Google Pay and we'll get into that. That's kind of the whole purpose of this video. So just a little quick overview of how they work. Samsung Pay, I don't know the name of the technology. I probably should have looked it up. But basically how Samsung Pay works is Samsung Pay has a device that mimics your card's magnetic strip. Therefore, it literally works everywhere. Google Pay uses NFC. So the way NFC works is, is that um, the card reader has to have an NFC port on it. Then you put your phone up to it, boom, it all goes through. No problem, it works. Just a little bit less convenient than Samsung's version of it. Ease of use. So there are two categories of ease of use. Uh, the first ease of use is where they work. As I mentioned when I went over Samsung Pay's, how Samsung Pay uh, actually mimics the magnetic strip of your card, it works everywhere. The little ghetto gas station that you go walking into, into it'll work there. It works at Walmart, it works at Kroger, it works at Target, it works literally everywhere. There's not a, there's very few little card readers that Samsung Pay will not work with. It is truly dumbfounding how much it works. Like if you have a dream of not carrying a wallet and just putting your card either in the back of your case or putting one of those little card case thingies on the back of your case and just put your driver's license in there and walking around. Samsung Pay is the only option that I can see in today's world that will work that way. Google Pay requires you to have NFC. So it doesn't work everywhere and it's not as convenient as Samsung Pay. Now, here's for the second ease of use. And this is a little bit frustrating because this is something that Samsung has got down really well. The way Samsung Pay works is you open up the app. So you open up the app. Tap the card you want to use. Put your the use your fingerprint to unlock the card. Tap it there. It works. Google Pay, how I've had it working, is you have to scan it. it causes the card reader to go bloopy. Pull it up, put your fingerprint in, then rescan it, and then it works. Um, I'm still working on figuring out how to make it not have to do that because that's irritating. And the whole purpose of this is to not have to pull my wallet out or make it to where I can leave my wallet in my car, which given the car that I drive is probably not a good idea. But anyway, you get the point. Uh, the way the Google Pay app and the Samsung Pay app work with my mileage with how it works, there is no comparison. Samsung Pay beats it, hands down, easiest, no comparison. Now, crop. Uh, everything's still pointing up. All right, cool. Sorry, trading stocks while I'm doing this too. Um, overall impressions with Google Pay versus Samsung Pay. If it wasn't for the fact that I love a stock Android experience and it took me a long time to figure out how to get my Samsung phone to 
I'm actually ashamed at how long it took me to get my Samsung to behave like a stock Android. I would have stuck with Samsung, because Samsung Pay is just so convenient, so easy, so amazing. It is beyond. It's just beyond. If you want to not have to carry a wallet, Samsung Pay is the way to go. Uh, probably should buy an Apple phone at some point and switch over to that for a week and see how Apple Pay versus Google Pay versus Samsung Pay works. But if ever there was a feature that would keep me in one ecosystem, Samsung Pay is it. Holy crap, Samsung Pay is the shit. Uh, that being said, this phone right here, the OnePlus 7T, is an amazing cell phone. And it does just about everything that I could ever want it to do. And it was at least $500 cheaper than the Samsung phone that I wanted. And does everything that the Samsung phone did. So, there's that. Anyway, hope this video helps you out. Have fun.